response. I want you guys, and I know I've been posting little snippets. You know, you guys have been getting little snippets and snippets of, of the videos of the harness, and it is finally complete. So I can't wait to show you guys this because for all of the dog lovers out there, now this particular harness was made for a company called BWK9 in Hopes Bluff, Alabama. So. Guy is a specialist in dog training. He works with guard dogs. He works with the K-9 unit of the local police force. So uh, here's another thing if you guys are into uh, dogs, or if you want that, uh, which would be another video, a part of the Fun Small Projects. Now, it is a lot of moving parts, but they are considered small projects because a lot of it is just mostly snaps and D-rings and O-rings, but you guys can create and make a lot of money off of just making dog harnesses and leashes. But this one right here is for BWK. And this, is, this harness is made for large breed dogs. You can see it right there, BWK9. He wanted his, his company stepped into it. Um, and the particular dogs that he works with are the German Shepherds. So, the German Shepherd is considered a large breed. Not as large as a Mastiff or, or those particular breeds, but this particular harness can cover everything from German Shepherds, Doberman Painters, Doberman Painters, that's my country twain coming out, um, Pitbulls, Rotties, uh, those particular large breed dogs. Uh, this harness can fit. So, if you guys can see it, there's a chest piece, and the chest piece comes finished with lamb's wool inside. And here are all your straps. Now, the one thing that the client on this particular piece wanted was a, a more secured retainer uh, loop. So, I went to the drawing board and we put the retainer loop right around the back strap that attaches to the leash. So, if he, uh, especially working with guard dogs or attack dogs, if whatever you, get you guys, particular type of uh, uh, dog you have, even if you're having just a dog in the house, this gives you a little bit more uh, retain, retention and holding the dog in place. Because if it's in full attack mode, all of this is pulling. And you can have that retainer strap right there to give you just a little bit more extra control and leverage until you get ready to let it go. And then it's, I hope you got your life right. But it also comes with a D-ring here too. So if you want to walk the dog, you still can walk him. But it also comes with that reinforcement retainer strap. Now, this is a project that I am very proud of. I'm, I'm glad that I took up on, uh, was commissioned for this particular job. And you do have the adjustments on both sides here to adjust around the body, the body band here, and you have the adjustments on the top that goes over the shoulders of the dog. Now, this particular harness, by being large breed, this harness was made out of one and a half inch, eight to nine ounce, double strapped leather, veg tan leather. This thing can hold a mute. I'm telling you, it, 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 it's, it's built that strong. Uh, everything is double looped, everything is double strapped, and it's held in with rivets and Chicago screws, and it's been and it has been sewn too. So you don't have to worry about this thing tearing up like some of the department store stuff. Not knocking nobody on there, but when you're going from nylon webbing to veg tan leather, eight to nine ounce, the test weight on this is anywhere from 165 to 180. If you got a dog that's bigger than that, you need to put him on a farm somewhere. But anyway, again, large breed dog harness, very well capable of holding German Shepherds, large breed dogs from German Shepherds, Dober Doberman Pinchers, Pit Bulls, Rotties, everything up to that. And so if you guys are interested in ordering one of these, get at me right now. Get at me right now because I am very, I'm, I'm ready, ready to rock and roll on making some more. This was a fun project. And if you guys wanted to, we can stud this thing out with spikes, studs, we can decorate it and be very, very nice for you. All right, this is Robert the Leather Cowboy Muhammad signing off right here from Mill Leather Craft Studios in the dirty I'm going to take a risk because the city is now locked down. It's fine.
when you're working the dog on a line or the dog is doing any kind of pulling, you want the pressure of that pull to be in his body, not in his neck. Right. That's why you don't agitate a dog, or I don't do it, on a collar. If it's a puppy or maybe if it's on a short line, okay. maybe, but I like to do it on with the harness. With that way all the pressure is put on the body, okay. especially the chest cavity, not on the, the neck. neck. Does that give you more control, too, to have the weight in the body, distributed in the body, as opposed to... Not really control, because the control comes from the command. corrections okay. and, and what you're doing, but basically, you if you want to correct the dog, like I can have the dog on the line, mm -hmm. and, Babuje, and be able to correct them with the neck on the on the collar right and have it tied up on the on the harness okay so okay that's, that's all right you heard it right here bwk9 with the main trainer ace